Interstate gang, welcome back to the channel, y'all. So I thought this would be a really, really good video for you guys, and I actually been having this video from people that really been requesting it. So I'm like, okay, let me try to get videos out for the people that request videos. So I know somebody requested that they wanted me to go over the tail tech gauges and all the gauges. And then I think somebody also wanted another video on uh, the pros and cons of LTL and uh, between LTL and uh, truckload freight. So I'm gonna try to get that video out too. So I'm reading all the comments. Y'all already know I'm responding back to everybody. Y'all already know me. I respond back to everybody as much as possible. 98% of the time I'm responding back there, you know, to everybody. If I miss you, it's just like, I just miss you and I, I rarely ever miss people. So, but I really want to give y'all this this video uh got some gauge covers on the gauges now which look really really nice i'm happy with it and uh i really want to go over every everything with you guys all the gauges that i got i believe i got 19 19 small gauges just the round gauges 19 of those but 21 all together and i got like maybe 21 or maybe 21 or 23 24 switches so if you ask me from the years of 2001 and 2004 in the 379, I believe it's the best gauge package. Hands down by far, like with all the trucks that's been made, like I think that's the best gauge package to me. You know, I haven't had experience with, you know, other trucks or anything like that. So I know 359, they got a nice gauge package. The early 379s got a nice gauge package, and uh, 389 also got a nice gauge pack package too. But I just don't like how they gauges are. You know, the older gauges are a lot better, and um, I like those. And you can get a really, really full gauge package. You can get it with a 389 too, though. But I mean, I, I just like the old school a lot better, though. So don't get me wrong. I do like the 389 uh, gauges, but now that's history now with all this new technology. So. Let's go over this gauge package, y'all, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So here we go, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. This is a this is a gauge package. If uh, if I had the option to order a Pete, it'd be between the 2001 and the 2004. You know, just because of this, all of this. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, let me get this steering wheel down. Now this is a dash, y'all. This is a real dash. I really, I really get why the old school guys love the older trucks, man. What they had back then, man, is second to none, y'all. Second to none. It don't get no better than this. Like, you can't get this in a new truck. You can always, you know, fabricate, get custom stuff done, and, you know, which it'll cost you a lot of money, but to be able to get this type of stuff from factory back in the day, man, is crazy. That was a hell of an era, man. It really was. And I'm happy I landed one, man, and got my hands on one, man, because I will never, ever let this go, man. This truck is going with me to the grave, man. Hold on. Man. Look at that, y'all. This truck is going to the grave with me, y'all. We just getting started, too. All right, y'all. Let's do a head count. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we got 21 gauges. And, uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 switches. So let's go over my gauges, y'all. And uh, let's talk about it. 
So our first one, we have a oil temp gauge, which is very, very important. Something that you need to be looking at all the time. You really, really need to be looking at this. Um, I usually run 205, 210. I'm usually about 15 degrees higher than my water temp. My water temp, I'm usually sitting around 185, 195, right in that area. My time, which is wrong. My oil pressure, fresh oil change, I'm usually sitting around 52, uh, 52 PSI. When it's time for me to get oil change, about 46, 47. Uh, my tag meter, my speedometer. This is the miles that I've put on the truck since I've had it, y'all. I had 1.4 million miles on it, so we were right about 1.5 million miles on it now. So I know exactly how many miles I have on it when I bought it, and I know the miles that I put on it now in total now. So voltmeters, uh, fuel restriction, we usually sit around 2, 3. If I get a little bit higher than 5, it's time for me to change it. You know, I don't play with it. So... Uh, we got our wiper, uh, panel lights, uh, that, that controls these little lights in here. And, uh, we got the headlights, sleeper lights, and, uh, these are just dead switches. Uh, this is for my low lights. And, uh, these switches will be used because I want to, I want to switch these up. I want to use all four of these. Like, I want headlight to be on its own. Sleeper lights to just, like, really just cut the truck on. And then I want like the underglow because if I want to just have the sleeper lights on and then I want the trailer lights on this. So trailer lights, underglow, truck lights, and then headlights. So if I want to just run underglow and keep nothing else and turn everything else off, I just run underglow. If I just want to run a trailer, I just run the trailer. If I just want to run the truck lights, just run the truck lights. And then if I, you know, I'm not going to just run the headlights, but uh, okay. So we have... Water temp right here, very, very important. You need to be paying attention to that. Like I said, I sit between 185 and 195. Uh, air pressure, I'm usually sitting about 115. It cuts out about 125. Fuel level, we got about 69 in the left, 68 in the right. Air pressure for my air rod, this is the left, this is the right. I usually run about, uh, I usually run about 50. PSI in both bags. My boost gauge uh, right here. My air pressure. This is the air pressure that I'm applying to my brakes. Let's you know how much PSI I'm putting, how much pressure I'm putting on that uh, foot brake. Uh, we got the trans tent right here, which is very, very important. I think it's a gauge that everybody should have. You want to know the temperature of your transmission. I sit a little bit higher because I don't actually have a trans cooler on my transmission, so I sit a little bit higher. I sit like sometimes at 210, 215, sometimes 220, which is nor is, is not normal, but it's within spec as far as like eating to get that hot. Uh, if I think it's, it starts to break down the oil at like 245, 250, so I'm well within spec. I'm not hurting the thing, y'all. So, But I do wanna put that uh, transmission cooler on there and just bring it down just a tad bit, cause I wouldn't say it bothered me. I'm used to it now, but I definitely want to get it down to, you know, a lot lower. So uh, front drive axle, which is my front diff right here. This is my rear diff. Uh, the front will always be hotter than the, the back. I mean, the front will always be hotter than the rear. Pyrometer, we usually sit around fully loaded, let's say 42,000, depending on the terrain, where we're going. I usually run between 650 and 7, 7, 750, 780 sometimes. My truck has never seen 900. I've seen 800 maybe a couple of times off of me just lugging a truck, not paying attention. Uh, this is my load for my uh, tractor. I actually just dumped the air so I don't have anything on there. And then in my trailer right here. My outside ambient temp, I need to put one out there. This is my idle, my idle timer. So if I want to idle, I got a timer on it and it shut my truck off. Then I got my scan gauge, which is really cool to have. Fuel economy, if a gauge ever go down, it runs straight off the ECM and it lets me know everything. Speed, cruise, fuel rate, engine, PTO, fuel, fuel temp, boost, coolant, oil, intake temp, like all of that is cool. 
then I got my switches for my air and stuff like that. Uh, Jake brake on and off levels high medium low fan uh this is the wink with my lights cruise cruise control this is dead all of these are pretty much dead beside the windows so these are going to all be utilized in some way dump switches front axle lift rear axle lift uh i don't like just i'm gonna try to utilize every last one of them in some way you know, so uh, we're gonna see what we gonna we gonna see what we gonna do. So, but I really want to utilize all my switches. I don't want dead switches. Uh, this is lifting up my front axle. And you got my my trailer. You got my trailer and my tractor. And uh, that's everything, y'all. So definitely wanted to go over all the gauges. Uh, here go a few of my switches. This is my, uh, I wanna say this is my, I don't know what this is for, but this is for my air. This is for a swift fifth wheel slider if I had one. And this is for my actual differential lock. So I don't know what this do. But uh, that's everything y'all. Just wanted to definitely give y'all this video. Show y'all my dash. Uh, I can't wait till I paint it purple, actually purple and not the black cherry. I think the purple will look a lot better. And uh, I just got to find me two more gauges for this. Well, two more gauge covers for that. We tried to find it and fit them, but it didn't work. So he said he was going to let me know when he found them. So, but uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I like, I like the... Uh, I like this gauge package from, like I said, from 01 to 2004 and the 379, y'all. It just looked good, man. I like it. You got a lot of different options, y'all. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like the content. I'm hoping you guys continue to subscribe, continue to like, continue to share the channel out. Please, please like, y'all. It's very, very important. It puts us in the algorithm of YouTube and it gets us out there, you guys. So, I definitely want to bring you these type of videos, different videos like that. So, uh, you know, whatever you guys request, I definitely try to put videos out on it if I possibly can, you know. So, uh, I know you guys would like that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.